Hello and welcome. In this video lesson we will investigate the nature of the roots of a quadratic equation ax squared plus bx plus c equals to zero. By definition b squared minus 4ac is called the discriminant of the equation ax squared plus bx plus c equals to zero. discriminant of ax squared plus bx plus c equals to zero. Now the discriminant is denoted by the symbol delta. If alpha and beta are the roots of ax squared plus bx plus c equals to zero then considering a, b, c are real numbers one if delta is equal to 0 which is b square minus 4ac is equal to 0 then we have repeated roots equal and repeated roots alpha equals to beta which is negative b over 2a that is case 1 case 2 if delta is greater than 0 which means b square minus 4ac is greater than 0 then we have real and distinct roots alpha and beta are real and distinct. Case 3 if the discriminant delta is less than 0 which means b square minus 4ac is less than 0 then alpha and beta are complex numbers, complex conjugates of each other. Let us consider an example and find the nature of the roots of this equation. Let us suppose we have an equation 3x squared plus 7x plus 2 equals to 0. Let us find the discriminant of this equation and determine the nature of the roots. In this equation a is equal to 3, b equals to 7, c equals to 2. Let us find the discriminant now. Delta, which is equal to b square minus 4ac, equals to b square is 7 squared minus 4 times 3 times 2. That gives you 49 minus 12 times 2, 24. that is 25 which is greater than 0 which means the roots are real and unequal distinct
Let us take another example. In this example, it says find the value uh, values of m for this equation, for this quadratic equation, to have equal roots. So for what values of m, the following equation will have equal roots. This equation looks a bit complicated, but it's uh, similar to a quadratic equation in x. So we have x squared minus 2 times 1 plus 3m x plus 7 times 3 plus 2m. So this is a quadratic in x. You have x squared here, you have x term and a constant term. Now we need to find the value of the m for this equation to have equal roots. So from the definition we know the roots are equal if the discriminant delta which is b square minus 4ac is equal to 0. So now let us write what these a, b and c are. For this equation a is equal to 1, b equals to negative 2, 1 plus 3m and c equals to 7 times 3 plus 2m. Now let us find b squared minus 4ac. b squared is this term here which is negative 2 1 plus 3m squared minus 4 times a is 1 c is 7 times 3 plus 2m. So the discriminant now must be equated to 0 because we need it's given that it has equal roots this equation has equal roots so let us do some algebra here that's 4 1 plus 3m squared minus 4 times 1 4 times 7 is 28 3, time, 3 plus 2m equals to 0 Now let us expand that. We have 4 times 1 plus 3m squared minus 28 3 plus 2m equals to 0 from the previous page. So let us expand this using a plus b squared. That becomes 1 plus 6m plus 9m squared minus 28 times 3 84 negative times positive is negative 56m equals to 0 In fact, we can factor out the 4 from here instead of expanding this. So that would be 1 plus 6m plus 9m squared minus 21 minus 14m equals to 0. So we have a quadratic in in m. 9m squared minus 8m so it's positive 6m minus 14m is negative 8m and then you have negative 20 equals to 0. Now we find the roots of this equation which is uh, a quadratic in m um, the usual way. So after doing the algebra we find the roots to be a minus 2 10 because you can factor this out you can do the factorization of this equation and find the roots so we have m equals to 
2 and m equals to negative 10 over 9. So these are the two values of m for which the quadratic equation has real um, equal roots. Thanks for watching.